and welcome to my channel. I'm Danny Walker. Thank you so much for joining me today. We are going to be packing for my 4th of July trip. If you're brand new to my channel, I hope that you'll consider subscribing as well as hitting the notifications bell so you know when new episodes come out. For this episode, I'm really excited to be partnered with Dossier and I want to share about them because I have been packing their scents on all of my trips recently. So I just got these two new scents from them and I cannot wait to actually wear them out. I haven't been able to wear them out just yet. I have their Oriental Vetiver. I'm not sure if I'm even pronouncing that correctly, but it, it is inspired by Byrido. Oh my goodness, who knows how to... Who knows how to pronounce that? I absolutely love their perfumes. They have been such a lifesaver. What I love about this brand is that you're not paying for any of the markups from the expensive other brands. And really for those ones, you're paying for marketing, you're paying for packaging. And I know I can appreciate good packaging just like anyone else. But when it comes to perfumes that I'm just gonna be throwing into a carry-on, I think it's great that I can get a more cost-effective version. And I actually have a lot of these other scents that are inspired by these ones. And I am not going back now because these prices are phenomenal. They range between about 29 to 49, which I think is so reasonable for perfume. And yes, they are perfume. This is not a body mist. So this is the other one I have from them that I just got. And this is inspired by the YSL Montpery Eau de Parfum. And this is 18% concentration. The other one is 18% as well. So it's gonna last so long when you wear it. I actually meant to test these two. Okay, so let's try this one on this arm. Okay, gotta let it dry. <laughs> okay, I can really smell the amber. I love amber. It's one of my favorite scents. It's just such a warm scent and I think it's beautiful. And then this one, okay, ooh, okay, what is this one? I'm gonna let it, let this one kind of sit for a little bit, let it marinate. This one also has a base note of amber, but it also has vanilla, so it has, it's a little bit sweeter. That's why I would assume this one's called the Floriental Brown Sugar, so it's a very sweet scent. And there's also some florals in it. Okay, so I think I'm gonna be going I actually think I'm gonna take this one on this trip because mm, I really love the florals in it. That's beautiful. Okay, so we're packing this one. This other one is gonna go on the next trip. So that's one of the first things I bring. And I've gotten a lot of questions about what I pack for trips because even with my friends, they can't believe I only take a carry-on and then I have my, my personal item. So I've yet to pack anything and we're gonna go through these ones together. For this trip, I'm gonna be traveling for about a week. So this will be a week, week's worth of clothes. Oh my goodness, there's so much stuff in here. I just threw it in so I could actually pack it with you. Okay, so this is a 4th of July trip and I always like to bring my friends things that have themes in them or just fun fun stuff for when we go out. So I picked up these, these little koozies from Target the other day. They were only $3 in their USA for like 4th of July. So I brought a few of these for my friends and these are definitely gonna go with me. So the first thing I start packing are my clothes and I live by packing cubes. So that's my favorite thing. So for this trip, I mean, it's summertime. It's gonna be hot in Montana. And I feel like summer is the easiest time to pack for when you're getting ready for trips because the clothing is much smaller usually. So I'm bringing a pair of denim high-waisted shorts. I actually thrifted these guys. They're, they're my favorite. They're the only ones I own and I cut them myself and I love them and I wear them all the time. So I'm bringing these guys and I just like to roll them and then I put them into the end of the packing cube. And then because, I mean, we're gonna be on the lake, we're gonna be by the water, I'm just gonna be throwing stuff over a swimsuit essentially. So I brought this little, it's a little smocked crop top that I love. I love the bows on it, it's just very feminine. I thrifted this one, it doesn't even have a brand. I don't even know who makes it, but I love it. So I'm just taking this guy and I'm just gonna roll that and pack it. Also important, jeans. So I have these jeans, they're not even mine, I actually borrowed them. <laughs> um, so I better treat them well. And they have this fun little frayed edge, they're cropped. And so, uh oh, did I already get something? Okay. I'm gonna wash these guys before I pack them. I already, 
already got stuff on them. Uh, I also thrifted this. I, I thrift everything, but I picked this one up because I am a minimalist and most of the stuff that I have in my closet is just like this. Like This is what I wear when I coach, when I teach girls, and I meet with my clients online. So I needed something kind of fun, and I found this one. It's a cute little off-the-shoulder top, and it has little stars on it. Uh, which I love and I just think it's gonna work really well for all of the cropped pieces. I love everything high-waisted So I gotta have a lot of cropped stuff. Oh, here we go. Here is my swimsuit So this swimsuit was actually given to me from our Miss USA swimsuit sponsor and I have these bottoms that are navy and then I have this red top from another swimsuit I don't know what happened in the original top for this. It was like this red white and blue one don't know where it went. So we're just gonna do the navy bottoms and a red top. I might end up packing a spare swimsuit, but honestly, I mean, this would work and it keeps it simple. Now, I also like to pack just one pair of PJs. I really don't think you need more. I have this cute little set. It was actually given to me, but I love this little set and they're, I think it's probably from TJ Maxx or Target or something. I don't even know, but it was a gift. And it's this girl and she has a little vintage bike with flowers. And I love riding my vintage bike that I have worked very hard to restore and upkeep. I named her Sandy. She's a really cute gal. And yeah, she's really cute. So it reminds me of me. Now, also the other thing I grabbed so I found this fabric and it's, it looks really old. It's this like vintage looking fabric. It's kind of textured and thick and it is red, white, and blue. And so I found the fabric and then I found a pattern and I made my first ever pair. Of, I love everything high-waisted. I made my first ever pair of shorts and what's good is they have some stretch in it. So I'm so excited to wear these. And then I made a top for it, which I don't, oh gosh. Which I can't really put on right now, but hold on. This one, I did not, okay, it doesn't exactly fit. It actually fits when I don't have a shirt on and everything. Uh, so I made this little tie to top to go with it. So just like hanging out by the water. Uh, I got this guy and I didn't even use a pattern for the top. I just sort of eyeballed it and I don't know. I just like made the little curve shape for the front and curve the armhole and that was about it so that was pretty simple that took me two days the shorts took me one day because I was working with the pattern and the top took me another day here's this little dress I found this today because I didn't once again I'm very minimal so I don't have any pieces like this in my closet right now and here is this guy who makes this this is made by Isolus I don't know what that is pulled out the tag got a little Extra tag thing here. Doo, doo, doo. Okay, so I immediately loved it. I thought it was so cute, and it's got the you know the puffy sleeves everyone's doing right now, and it's got these little. Hold on. Ooh. It buttons all the way. I just washed it, but it buttons all the way down. It has a square neck, and then it's a floral, and I think it's gonna be so 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 cute. And I'm gonna wear it with these guys also thrifted so I'm just kind of using the neutrals it's sort of like a tortoise shell button and I'm using those neutrals I know they don't really match right now but honestly it's summertime I just I'm just going with the neutrals keeping it casual I also found this denim swimsuit top which is really strange I guess it's not really a swimsuit top I don't know if I'll end up using it for something but I'm bringing it and then I also found this which I think was so cute this is a nasty gal little top and it has ruffles on the top it's polka dots and it's kind of this soft not quite like a silky material it doesn't shine like that but similar super cute and i can't wait to wear it i'll either wear it with the i mean i can wear it with the shorts i can wear it with the jeans and honestly guys that's what's so important when i pack i usually am packing kind of the bare minimum of what i need and i don't pack more and i don't pack less uh, because I like to pack stuff that's interchangeable. So like the dress will be worn alone, right? But the tops that I have can go either with my jean shorts or they can go with my white pants. And I will also be wearing another pair of jeans on the flight. So that's like, that's like a rule I follow is all my heavy stuff is worn on the flight. Then just in case, I like to have a pair of leggings in case me and my friends go out and we're like, 
let's go on a little hike that does happen quite a bit in montana so i have a little sports bra also hello thrifted from thread up they have so many great lululemon pieces so i loved this little one and also i got makeup on it so we're gonna wash that too and then i just have a, a basic white tank that we're gonna throw in with that this is literally just only one packing cube then we have to pack some underwear, so we put that in there. I'm just gonna pack one bra and, oh, here's an extra tank top. Here's another, this is just one of my favorite tank tops by Cynthia Rowley, oh my gosh, she makes my faves. Okay, so that's done. And then really I just have the bra. By the way, I will be flying into Missoula and that is where some of my best friends live in Montana. Uh, in case you're wondering, Billings, where I lived, is about six hours away from Missoula, so it's a little, little ways away. But Missoula is beautiful, and then we're going to be spending some time in Big Fork and by Flathead Lake or on Flathead Lake. We're kind of bouncing around a little bit. If you guys are familiar with Montana, it's one of the most beautiful places. And if you guys are looking for a fun summer vacation, please check out Montana. But please also be respectful to our parks and keep them clean and be respectful to our animals as well. Just word of advice. And yeah, it's just such a beautiful place. Last summer, I we were able to go whitewater rafting, but usually every summer we have been going out wakeboarding and now wake surfing. That's something our friend Drew taught us how to do, which is super cool. And it's just fun. It's just fun to spend time together and catch up with friends. Now, if you are going to be going to some lakes or maybe on the water, there are some places on the lakes where the ground is kind of gravelly and can hurt your feet. So you really, really need a good pair of water shoes. And most Montanans have water shoes and these ones actually are not quite so rugged this isn't like something you're gonna get at REI these are just a Steve Madden pair but they do have rubber soles and they velcro on they're super easy to put on and they just work they work they're a little bit more I would say feminine than outdoorsy but and I wouldn't recommend it for somebody who's spending a ton of time in the water but I like them for this trip so we're taking those we're also going to be taking this neutral pair of sandals okay these guys are easy they're going to just go with my shorts with my jeans because it does by the way still get a little bit cold in montana at night even in the summer if you're going to come to montana still be prepared for that it gets a little chilly and i think some people are just shocked depending on where they visit that it can be that cold in the summer uh, there's literally places where it's snowing still in the summer there is snow on the mountains and then i'm going to pack two belts i just have a black one and a basic brown one and these are going to go and work quite well with my pants and my shoes and I think that'll be good. Like I said, I have these right here. Honestly, I usually don't pack this many pairs of shoes, uh, but usually I like to have like one pair of heels, one pair of flats and one pair of sneakers, but my suitcase is pretty empty right now. So um, we have the room for it. We're gonna do it. So we're just actually gonna put, I'm gonna take these guys, I'm gonna put them right here on this side of my suitcase. Here's my little koozies put them there. Oh, I have my wonderful dossier perfume. And also I always make sure that anything that could leak is going to go in a plastic bag. I really want to upgrade this to a nicer reusable plastic bag, which you usually can get at places like TJ Maxx. Um, but for now I'm in a rush and I'm leaving early in the morning and I've been working all day I've been coaching all day. So there's no time for that, unfortunately. So what we're going to do though is we're going to take our perfume, put that in there. Oh, I need to refill my shampoos. Okay. I always just bring shampoos and refill them and I'm going to take a note of that. This is another thing that I do as I pack. Let me see. Mont I have packing list. Okay. Okay. So I have my shampoo. I have deodorant. I have a little bit of hairspray. Honestly, guys, I really don't think I'm going to need this, but I don't know. Maybe I feel like I'm going to slick my hair back at some point and I don't want flyaways. I have liquid bandage. I always carry liquid bandage. This stuff is a lifesaver. I cannot tell you how many times this has come through for me when I've gotten a blister on a trip. It's just, well, it's everything. I have a little bit of this Bath and Body Works lotion and I just like to have a mini one. It's airport, you know, compliant. Then I have this little guy right here, and this just has my face wash. It has my, my Invisalign retainer. I know, really sexy. And then it has my toothbrush, toothpaste. So that's, that's, there's nothing exciting in there. I'm also gonna bring a curling iron. I really don't even know why this is a little bit overkill, but maybe I'm gonna feel like curling my hair. It's another one of these 
reusable things. Then, okay, putting that in. I'm bringing some fresh eyelashes. Uh, I'm just gonna put these in my suitcase right now. I do have some in my makeup case, but I don't really feel like I need those this second. This fell out of my makeup. That's my makeup brush. Oh, do I need socks? Maybe I need socks. If, yes, I need socks because I know why I need socks. I know why, hold on. Uh, okay, so I have this right here and this has tons of medications in it. I have traveled a lot and it's always better to have any medicine you think you might need than not. I also have this little mini one right here. I just tossed, it's just, it's just an assortment. Yeah, you shouldn't really do this. It's not the best idea, but I do know what is in here. I know the differences between them. Uh, but normally this would not be a safe thing, especially if you have kids around. So I like to have this one and put it in my backpack. But honestly, guys, like that's literally it for my suitcase. Then I bring my backpack on the plane, and this is gonna have my lap, I'm still using the laptop right now, so I can't pack it. This is gonna have my laptop, it's going to have a spare hard drive for space, and it's going to have my makeup in it. I also like to pack a purse inside this bag, so that's how I kind of get around the whole personal item and a carry-on. So this guy right here is gonna be my carry-on. This backpack is gonna be my personal item. Then, here are my shoes. I love these so much. These are by Thousandfell. They're recycled, and then when you get rid of them, you can recycle them again. So these, actually, I think I'm gonna pack because, oh, that's right, I'm gonna wear my red cap. I'm doing it again. I wore them to Nashville and I'm wearing them again. So these guys, that's perfect. I'll pack these. I'm gonna get the red boots. I need to put that on my list. Always have a list, always have a list. Uh, neck pillow, I forgot that last time. Whoa, it was not a good nap on the plane. Boots, okay, I got the boots. But yeah, so I always pack a small purse when I travel and I shove it in here and then I'll fill it with things as well. Like I'll put a wallet in and I'll put makeup in it. But basically all this is missing is my makeup. And there's, here's other medicines. I'm just really paranoid about being stuck somewhere and not feeling well, because I've been there. And I've been there on a plane. So I have that. Yeah, this guy just has, I also have tea in here. I have tea, I have cough drops, kind of things that anyone would need, I guess. I have a small mini perfume bottle in there as well. It's like a roller, it's a roller perfume. And yeah, that's the only thing that's left in here really is my, my backpack, my camera. The camera I'm shooting on right now is brand new. This is the Sony ZV-1. Uh, I hope that's correct. And I'm testing it out right now for the next few days. So I'm kind of debating right now whether or not I'm going to actually take it on this trip or if I'm gonna return it because I'm not sure if I'm loving this one right now. But most likely I think I'm gonna keep it. I think I'm just gonna keep this and then my other Canon one so I can bring you guys more content. Anyway, so I have to bring all of that stuff. I have to work while I'm on the trip. I am not at the point yet where I have been able to actually leave my gear at home and everything at home. I still have to work remotely whenever I go on trips, whenever I work. Unfortunately, we are not quite at that point yet. We don't have a channel big enough yet to be able to take a real vacation. And honestly, even if I did, I'd probably still vlog it for you. It'd still take you long. So that's what's going on. That's how I pack. I'm gonna show you actually here. I'm gonna, I will uh, show you with my phone right now so you guys can see. Here's what I'll do. And yeah, so this is where everything's gonna fit. You can see all the shoes, 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 medicine. These are toiletries. We have our, whatever that is, curling iron. And then right here, okay, so Q-tips. In this little bag, in that little zebra pouch is just hair ties and a couple bobby pins. And then here is a sewing kit. I never leave this out. Here is a spare phone cord, teeth whitener. I don't really need the teeth whitener in there right now. This is basically all it's gonna be. And that will last me a week. The other thing I'll mention is whatever I'm gonna wear to the airport tomorrow, which I haven't decided yet, I'm gonna go check that out right now. I know I'm gonna be wearing my boots. And then I know I'm gonna be wearing some kind of shirt, jeans, and then some kind of sweater in case I do get cold in Montana, it does happen. I always bring the heaviest stuff on the flight with me. I wear that on my flight there, and then I'm gonna wear it on the way back. And honestly, I'm not really worried too much about not having enough for a week long trip because I will be going with some girlfriends and we are gonna be traveling to different towns, but we will eventually get back to their place and they have a washer and dryer. So 
I, it, I've washed stuff on trips many times before and if I have to, I'll do it again. I'm really not concerned about not having enough for the trip. I think it'll be just fine. That's what I'm packing. I hope you enjoyed it. Ta-da! Those are my packing tips and hacks. Anyways, I will see you guys soon. I will try to be posting some content from 4th of July on my Instagram, and that's at Danny Walker, and I try to post little, I'm trying to get better at reels, but I try to post some reels and clips and things for you, at least some cute pictures. So I hope you have a happy and safe 4th of July. Be careful out there, be careful with fireworks, and with boating and with sun exposure and please drink responsibly my friends we want to make it all through the weekend together so please be careful thank you so much for watching this episode and i hope that you'll tune in for lots more bye